key things is, um, so yesterday one question, um, that was a great question, is uh, what's the regular routine to turn the instrument off and on? Um, I usually leave my instrument on all the time. I would say um, I basically don't um, um, turn it off uh, unless I'm leaving the lab for like two weeks or a week uh, or so. Um, the instrument is on all the time. The um, other uh, question is like on a day-to-day -day basis, what needs to be turned off? Um, I would say just turn the um, illumination off or um, just turn the illumination um, lights off for the day, turn off the, or just close down the software. Um, but every time you close down the software, if you are doing individual spectrum collection, make sure you save um, all of them. So each of the spectra uh, needs to be saved individually. The map, because you get the file name before you start your measurement, it is saved automatically. But um, the Spectra, you individually needs to be saved. Um, the other question is, uh, was um, uh, basically how to turn um, the um, the power down or um, turn the power switch off. So um, to turn the power switch off completely or turn off the instrument completely so that um, there's nothing working, so even the little blue dye and everything else is turned off. If it is for a longer time, there should be a, um, behind your instrument or somewhere it should be hidden in next to your instrument is um, what we call the power brick. Um, and um, that is, um, and I'll just quickly show it to you. Um, let me see if I can reach my power break it in the back. The camera may not reach there, but I'll try. Um, so, I think this is the power break. Um, it's in the it should be somewhere sitting in the back of your instrument or so. That's the power brake. If there's a on-off switch in there, um, that's what you're going to use. The second thing um, that is more, I, mean, I would say routine, but not routine in a couple of years or so, depending on where you are located, is the changing of this part that is the desiccant. Um, so there is desiccant in there, and um, uh, you, sh you may have some extra desiccant that comes with the instrument that can be used as well. Uh, and the protocol to just change the desiccant is very straightforward. It's like a, this shows here. You just have two screws to pull out and then just put the desiccant in and it comes very simple. The other thing I want to show you is behind the stage is where you store this. You know it. It's pretty hard to see, but it is behind the stage is where the source is. Um, maybe like in five years or so, um, you may have to change the source. Um, again, that's a user replaceable part as well. So you can change it very simple, straightforward. Um, and again, in that, just move the stage to one end and it will just come out right from there. It's Pull it off, or you can even take the stage out. It's very simple, just one nose screw right here. You just do it the other way, and the stage comes off. You have two connectors, but do everything when the instrument is completely off. So, those are the key things. Um, but one of the other things I want to show you is that my software is up. Let me see if I can share. My screen as well is yeah. So um, it's how to do alignment. So basically, um, if 
you look in your view collect, so we talked about step me through, which is like a walk me through guide for like somebody who's starting up. But then you have all this experimental setup that you are changing, you are moving and stuff like that. Again, this experiment can be fake as an individual experiment for each person or so forth. If you're doing same type of routine work, then you can also then come back and open the same experiment for the aperture, step size. Everything stays constant for all your measurements. You can do that. Um, but the third button that's here, that's called the system status, right? So here, um, most of you um, will not have the VP highlighted just like in mine. I don't have a Velcro that is in here. So the Velcro is put in in those instruments which are under regulatory um, environment. So uh, or this helps in routine maintenance checks for all the instruments. So remember on day one, I showed a stage insert, which actually will come with multiple uh, polystyrene with some nice gold coated um, surfaces and everything uh, so that it can check everything for you automatically. And that runs through here. But then there is this button that says align. Um, when you are trying to align, why you would try to even align is or the why the um, um, alignment would even be required is um, sometimes or uh, you may see that um, if you don't see your interferogram or if the instrument was off for a long time or it's also not a bad idea to align your bench like every month or in every two, three months because you can then be sure that uh, uh, you have maximum amount of energy going through your um, uh, through your sample and everything like that. So how do you go about doing that is you will be under experimental setup. You want to set your collection mode to transmission. You want to set your detector to room temperature. Always remember that that's why we call our room, our room temperature detector as the default because we do checks and alignments with the room temperature detector. So um, you click on the room temperature detector, transmission mode, and make sure there is nothing in here. So you definitely will take the stage insert out. Pull it out. So be sure to keep it outside completely when you are doing the alignment. The alignment process by itself can take um, more like four to five minutes. So, um, and when it does that, what we're trying to ensure is that the beam can just go right through. So basically there should be nothing in the beam path. Keep your stage position to home or basically the center that is what it will do so that the beam is just going through the center of it. And then it will do the rest of it. All you will do is push the align button. And again, not necessary for every time you do the measurements or so once in a month <clears throat> or once in two months or so forth, it's a good idea. Um, 